Hi, my name is Hamlet Darcy. I work at Canoe Engineering and I'm also a JetBrains Academy member. I created this screencast to demonstrate Idea's static code analysis features and how to write your own rule using st structural search and replace. I'll give you a quick overview of Idea inspections, show you how to use structural search, and then demonstrate creating a new inspection and quick fix based on the search. Let's start by seeing some inspections. Inspections run on the fly with an idea, and they warn you of bad practices or potential errors. Here's an example. If we have a method, my method, that has a string parameter, then if you, within the method, write an if statement, checking for instance of string, this is redundant. S is always an instance of string, and Java knows this. So the inspections with an idea flag this as a violation. Instance of string is redundant and can re be replaced with not equal to null. Any null instance of anything is always returning false. So you saw I applied the quick fix using the alt enter keystroke. If it's highlighted in tan, alt enter, and it's fixed. There's over a thousand inspections in IDEA. They cover Java, XML, SQL, and many other languages and frameworks. You can see them all in the settings dialog. So let's talk about structural search and replace. If we change this slightly so that the parameter is of type object, then s instance of string is then a valid expression. But we can also add a null check to the beginning. Now the null check is redundant. It's not needed. There is no inspection for this, but the instance of check includes the not null check, so you don't really need this code. We can find and detect this using structural search and replace. Let's look under search, search structurally. So structural search and replace works off of code fragments, not text. The code fragment can be any valid Java expression, statement, class, or comment. The SSR has, it has templates and variables, and you can construct Java type aware queries such as find all calls to logger.debug, or in our case, find all null checks followed by an instance of. Let's construct our search using an existing template. The template I want to copy is the instance of template, gives me a starting point. So if the expression is instance of type, my search is going to expression not equal to null and instance of type. And I can run this against the current file. And you'll see that there is a violation. It comes up. So you can run this against your whole code base. So inspections and structural search and replace are integrated together. So you can write an inspection based on this structural search, and you can write a quick fix based on the structural replace. Let's do that. Within settings, I'll go to my inspections. And within inspections, I want to find the structural search inspection. Structural search inspection. I'm going to enable that. And now, I'm going to add a replace template. This is a list. So expression does not equal null. This is our search template. And the replacement will be to re remove the null. OK. OK. Template name is unnecessary null check with instance of. And now when I come back to my code, you can see that that code is highlighted in gray. And if I hit Alt Enter to apply the fix, it applies just S instance of string. Perfect. Okay? So, to summarize, we saw a brief introduction of inspections, we saw structural search to search Java code, and we saw combining the two to create a new inspection with a quick fix. We've only scratched the surface of structural search and replace, and have not really demonstrated how easily it is to integrate with the Java type system. If you want to know more, then I suggest looking at the documentation for SSR on the JetBrains site. That's it. Thanks for listening. You can follow HamletDRC on Twitter to see more updates like this in the future. Thanks and bye.